Waste is present in any ecosystem. The waste produced by human ecosystems is both organic and technological, and our relationship with that waste is tenuous. We've chosen to burn it, bury it, ignore it. As far as we're concerned, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. But just as the king leaves service food for other systems, we're proposing that perhaps post-consumer waste could service food for city building. There is a deep disconnect between use and refuse, which actually holds potentials for city making. We can even see that in Rio, with major urban settlements like Comunidade Formiga, where people build quite interesting structures from discarded materials or byproducts of other building processes. With our project, which we're calling Eco Assemblies, for reasons which will become apparent, we're interested in developing mechanisms for activating waste. We want to take something which is ordinarily discarded and turn it into an enabler of space. We want our project to infuse itself within the city fabric and through its mass and site responsiveness and what we consider iconic processes, it invites play and participation as well as raising awareness for rethinking the potentials of waste. Visitors to eco assemblies are prosumers. That is, they're consumers who become active themselves and take over the production of space. So the basic design proposition is this. We take post-consumer material, cycle it through an urban recycling engine, which is the um, industrial machine and the human collector, uh, produce a series of blocks for low-tech construction. 20% um, of the blocks produced remain on the site to build eco-assemblies. The other 80% is returned to the city as building material. The first phase is an in urban industrial landscape. We're not developing a system which is prepared to take on garbage trucks full of recycled goods to be dropped on and then processed. What we're doing is we're developing a system that's small enough that it will take the products that people carry in themselves and they drop off in order to contribute that to the building process. The machines are a very powerful part of this project. They're the first thing that's on the site. Um, and the, as the units are stacked, they're constructed around the machines themselves. Not only that, but the machine is also um, iconically a uh, producer of waste. And so we wanted to recapture that image and say, well, it is a producer of waste in a certain way, but it actually creates, because we're in, encompassing it in this very iconic process of um, regeneration, that it, the machine actually becomes um, a regenerator rather than a producer of waste. And, and in times when the machines aren't being used, then they can become place structures or places to sit or perform on when people are visiting the site. So the, an integral part in designing this project was creating a unit that could be extruded from both the plastic and the glass material that we are collecting that could then be used to construct the project around the machines themselves. Um, after testing several possibilities, we, we focused on this particular one because it would enable um, unskilled construction by participants and they would be able to assemble these blocks without prior knowledge of construction techniques. So the idea is that there is no mortar required for them and they can either go together in a 90 degree angle or they can create a different system through cantilevers and creating corbelled arches. They go together in a series of ways that can produce a, a 45 degree angle, a 60, a 75 and a 90 degree.
So for us, the fusion between a system of rules established for the unit that would allow low-tech construction, cantilevering, and possibilities of angular configurations, combined with spatial design intent, yield a symbiotic form. The design spaces are all similar in that they allow for a temporal occupation. They, they range from a large interior hall to a central open-air courtyard, smaller interior spaces as well as the exterior landscape, and they're all part of a, a porous system that encourages exploration. They can be used for formal events like dance competitions, film premieres, or exhibitions, or even informal events like impromptu work parties where people get together in order to use these blocks build a part of the building. To access the upper levels, the vertical circulation consists of grand exterior stairs and ramps, leading to a roofscape that acts as a quarry in flux, and a series of amphitheaters of varying sizes that can be occupied by similar programs as the ground plane.